and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem of the day is nearly sorted which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So we will be given one ARR of integer types okay, and one integer k. Okay, Alright, and what we have to do, we have to sort this array optimally. We have to sort this array optimally. Okay, but what's the use of this k? Okay, so in this array each element is at most k away from its target position okay so what does this mean this means ki if you will see k is equal to 3 okay so if this 6 6 is at most 3 places away 3 places away from its correct position so if you will see in the sorted array the correct position of 6 is this so 0 1 2 3 it's currently at 0 and its correct position is 3 so at most 3 for 5 you will see its correct position is what the current position is 1 and correct position sorted position is 2 okay so it is also at most 3 at most k position away from its target okay all right i hope it will be clear and you have to like sort the array but please don't use this sort function because if you are using the sort function we are not you we are not utilizing this feature we are not utilizing this thing that every element is at most k away from its target position okay all right so it's a very basic, it's a very common heap problem. I hope you guys will be getting this. So what I will do is simply I will make look. If I will make, if I will first of all put k plus one elements into a heap, okay. And I just like in a heap, I will may use a min heap where it will be sorted and a minimum element comes each time. So what it will happen is look six five three two, okay. So if this is in our heap, so it will be something like two, three, five. 6 okay 2 3 5 6 okay all right now after that what i will do i will remove the 2 from this heap and i will insert it in the first position 2 okay uh, 0 but 0 index okay after that i will insert 8 as well okay so it is already sorted all right now 8 is also inserted again the heap size is k, k, k plus 1 okay now i will remove 3 as well okay 3 is added similarly 10 will be added here okay after that 5 will be removed from here okay 5 will be added here okay after that 9 will be added so when 9 will be added into the heap 9 will be at this position 9 like in a heap i hope everyone knows it gets sorted automatically okay so 9 and 10 okay all right now again after that 6 will be coming 8 will come 9 will come and 10 will come so we are not sorting because if you know in so in uh, stl standard library sort function the time complexity is n log n okay n log n but here we can sort it using n log k time complexity because to sort this much it's only taking log k okay all right i hope this explanation will be clear as well and uh, we can go through the code the code will be very very easy what i will do is first of all i will insert first k plus one elements into a heap then i will remove one element from heap put it at the starting position and add one more element to the heap. and i will keep on doing this till we reach to the last and at last i will remove all the remaining elements from the heap and put it into the array all right let me write the code for it because then it will be more clear to you meanwhile if the problem explanation is clear the approach is clear please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video okay all right and uh, i have also started taking mock interview so if you want to give the mock interview there is a google form link into comment section where you can fill the form and we will be taking the interview of it okay all right let's go to the code first of all i will use priority queue we can use a queue interface queue class sorry pq is equal to new if you are using Java, if you are using C++, Python, you can write the code like this priority queue by yourself. I hope every language is almost same. Okay. All right. After that, what I told, I will insert first k plus 1 elements into array. Why k plus 1? Because look, correct current position is 0. If you will see, current position of 6 is 0 and its correct position is 6 because there is a difference of 3. Okay. So, from 0, it will be taking 3. But so, I have to insert k plus 1 elements okay into the heap so then, then that's why it will be covering k plus 1 okay k elements all right what i will do i will simply do pq dot add arr of i okay all right after that look very very easy it is now i will add one element i will remove one element okay so i will let's say int j is equal to 0 okay for int i equal to 0 i is less than oh sorry now look k plus 1 k elements are done three elements are inserted so now i will start from k plus one okay i will start from k plus one i will do this till arr dot length i plus plus 
what I told, remember what I told, I will remove the first element, like the first element present in the priority queue heap, okay. So, and I will insert it at starting of the array, okay. So, ARR of J++ is equal to PQ dot port. It means first element is removed and it is inserted at J index and now J is added. So, next element will be added at first index, okay. All right, after that what I will do, I will insert I element to the priority queue. I can use simply this, something like this and at last look. When this loop will be over, when this loop will be over, we will have the last k plus one elements. We will have the last these elements in the heap. Okay, all right. Now what I have to do, I have to remove these elements from the heap and again put it into the array in the last remaining indexes. In the last remaining indexes. Okay. So for that, what I will do is I will simply do while not pq dot is empty. Simply insert it. Pq. Okay. I can use this. ARR of J plus 1 is equal to PQ dot port. Okay. And we don't have to return anything because array is passed by reference. So if I will do any change in this array ARR, it will be done like in the parent function as well. Okay. All right. Let's try to submit it. Meanwhile, if you have loved the explanation, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. And if you want to give mock interviews, the link is into the comment section. Please do that. Okay. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.